Federal health officials have now revised guidelines for health care workers treating Ebola patients so that no skin is exposed while wearing protective gear. That was apparently the mistake made in Dallas where two nurses are now infected with Ebola. President Obama held another top-level meeting last night on the Ebola crisis. Ted on your side's Jennifer Johnson has more from Washington. Deanna, while the president and top health officials are urging the public not to panic, changes are being made to stop the spread of this deadly disease. Learning its lesson from mistakes made in Dallas, federal health officials announced new changes in the way health care workers suit up to treat Ebola patients. And it became very clear right away that we needed to modify that protocol to be much, much more strict in which no part of a body is exposed. The Pentagon has announced that a new 30-person medical support team will be trained to provide assistance to any medical center in the event of an outbreak. With Americans more anxious about Ebola, President Obama held another high-level meeting last night at the White House, his third this week. But we can't give in to hysteria or fear. This weekend, the president urged Americans not to panic. Americans need to relax. We need to be realistic because the real problem is not one, two cases here in the United States. The real problem is that this epidemic is completely out of control in, in, in Africa. Why some lawmakers, critical of the president's handling of the crisis, continued their call for a travel ban to West Africa. The question is, do you let people come here from uh, this area that is clearly stressed? And one way to prevent that is just not to issue them a visa. Officials say that will make the situation worse, shutting off health care workers from the region where they're most needed and causing other travelers to possibly lie about where they've been. That new medical support team created by the Pentagon will begin training within the week at Fort Sam Houston in Texas and be ready to respond by early November. In Washington, Jennifer Johnson, 10 on your side. And for more on Ebola concerns, head to our special coverage page on wavy.com. Look for it under the news tab. You'll find important information about Ebola from the CDC, a live Twitter feed, and all of our previous coverage.